When the president gets to the northern end of France, means the northern end of the street called Anatole France. So, here we are at the corner of the two avenues named after the American president Franklin Roosevelt and the French writer Anatole France. Just check on your media player screen to be sure you've arrived at the right place. You see the same thing I do? The surrounding buildings are evidence of the great mix of social classes that took place in this district at the beginning of the 20th century. At that time, the fancier bourgeois townhouses stood side by side with the more modest housing of the working classes. Have a look. On the right, for example, at the corner of these two avenues, you may see a group of seven townhouses protected by wrought iron railings and trees. They were designed for a well-to-do population. On your media player screen, you can see a few of them. On the other hand, the imposing white building you see facing you on the Avenue Franklin Roosevelt was rented by a population of more modest means. Before we go back to our monument treasure hunt, please allow me to present to you yet another architectural style. It's called Art Deco. The brick building located at the corner is another good example of this artistic movement that appeared during the years between the two world wars. Its name comes from the International Exposition of Modern Industrial and Decorative Art, held in Paris in 1925. You must be wondering how to recognize a building done in Art Deco. Well, here are a few tips. Art Deco buildings include highly refined and inventive decorative elements created by assembling simple geometric shapes. This decoration is generally found just over the entryway or even continuing all the way up to the top of the building. Now, back to our investigation. Riddle number 13 says, Head down towards the southern end of France, but stop at the first crossroads. Sounds simple enough. Let's go.